Hey friends, welcome back. I did my big November grocery haul today. I went to Sam's, Aldi, and Walmart, and this was the most I've spent in one trip in a very long time. Definitely all of 2023. I can't remember the last time I spent this much. All right, so we'll start at Walmart. I got another container of our favorite laundry detergent, which is just this Purex Free and Clear. This is only like $8, and one lasts my family of 10 an entire month. I really like this seventh generation dish soap, and we are down to our second to last dish soap, which is so unusual for us. But a lot of my food storage and household storage has dwindled down some. So I'll definitely be spending the next probably two or three months restocking some of our essentials that I like to keep at least six months worth on hand. And dish soap will definitely be one of those. I also bought some face wipes for my daughter and these are our favorite pickles that we get in the refrigerated section. I needed to restock my kids ibuprofen and Tylenol and a PA friend of mine was telling me last week because my youngest son um, struggles with migraines every once in a while, especially when he is not feeling well. He gets very, very bad headaches and needs quiet and dark. And she was telling me that ibuprofen is actually better for migraines than Tylenol or acetaminophen because it reduces inflammation. So I made sure we had some of that. Um, I love this Insta-Dry nail polish. It is only, I think, $5.97 at Walmart and it dries so fast. That's what my nails are painted with right now. This color is instant coffee. Um, and I can do two coats of the color and one coat of the clear top coat in like five minutes. And it's completely dry and does not get any marks on it. All right, I, I bought some um, containers of mashed avocado at Sam's. You'll see that in a minute, but I also got this one bag of small avocados from Walmart. I'm going to put these on the windowsill to ripen and my girls and I are going to have poke bowls on Friday. I have not purchased shredded hash browns in a while and that is something that my girls really enjoy with their breakfast. So I picked up two bags of that. My kids have been talking about the strawberry jam that I used to buy at Costco, which was really, really good. It was just an organic strawberry spread. And from what I can see online, they don't carry it anywhere anymore. Well, at least not around here. So I gave up on finding that locally and I went ahead and bought these um, strawberry organic spreads from Walmart. The price was actually not bad on those considering they're organic strawberries are definitely in the dirty dozen so whenever you're going to purchase strawberry stuff it's always best to get organic if you have that option bananas two packages of kielbasa i have never purchased this chorizo before but with um, my husband and i both being low carb and he is really more on the carnivore side right now i decided to pick up some of this chorizo i think he'll be pretty excited to try it we are down to our second to last jar of peanut butter. And I don't think I've ever tried this no stir natural peanut butter from Walmart, but it was a good price, so I decided to try it. It is Kleenex season. And I never ever used to buy Kleenex, especially this the Kleenex brand. But we tried the soothing lotion Kleenex a couple years ago and it's pretty amazing when you're having to blow your nose several times a day and I actually have several kids in the house with colds right now so I picked up this four pack and I will also keep one of these in my car. We got a big package of American cheese because I don't care what you say it makes the best grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> three pounds of sharp cheddar and three pounds of mozzarella. Oh, that was it for Walmart. My total at Walmart was 173.33. Moving on to Sam's. I have never tried these pickles, but we really like 
pickles that are the refrigerated kind that tend to be a little more crunchy and flavorful. So we're gonna try these Grillo's. They are dill spears. One package, I mean one jar of yum yum sauce. This is easy to make, but it's really nice to have a bottle in the pantry for when we do hibachi. Kiwi is so much cheaper. Really, most fruit is so much cheaper when I purchase it at Sam's. So I got this big container of kiwi. These raspberries were listed at, I think, $5.98, but they ended up being $2.99. So I ended up buying two of them because that's the price that I thought one would be. And there's not a ton of fruit in season right now, so I wanted to get all that I could that was reasonably priced. My husband loves olives, so I thought we would try this Greek olive medley. Well, not we. He will try. I do not care for Greek olives. I love black olives, but I don't care for green olives or Greek. Our favorite cherry tomato medley. Some plums, mini cucumbers, mandarin oranges. This might be one of the most exciting things that I found at Sam's today. A couple of years ago, I purchased these smoked turkeys from Sam's. It is a whole turkey. They are, it says young. They are smaller. Um, let's see how much this one weighs. This one weighs 13 pounds. Um, and this one is a little bit smaller this one is nine pounds so we're going to keep this one for our family and we will save this one for Thanksgiving but they are so delicious they're so good now they are 348 a pound but because they are fully cooked flavorful they're juicy they're not dry at all when we bought one a few years ago and used it for Thanksgiving I said I don't ever want to do turkey any other way <laughs> because it just takes so much time and guesswork out of doing a raw turkey on Thanksgiving Day or the days leading up to it. All right, this bacon was another fantastic find as far as price. I found so many good meat deals at Sam's today. Normally these three packs, so they come wrapped in three packs, um, are about $16. And these are just the Members Mark brand. They were marked down $6 off per package, so I saved $18 on these three three packs. I got nine pounds of bacon for $30, which is really, really good for right now. Prices for bacon and all kinds of stuff are just astronomical. All right, I restocked our sliced cheeses. We got Monterey Jack and Baby Swiss. Some of their deli meat was marked down. This four pepper turkey breast is so, so good. We will come and just pull a couple pieces out and eat it for a snack because it's really delicious. And their black forest ham was on sale, so I got two of those. Look at these adorable pajamas. It's like a woodland theme, but it's two whole pairs of pajamas for $10. So basically $5 a pair and we are definitely minimalists when it comes to my young children's wardrobes. So these two pairs of pajamas will definitely last my son all winter. We will just wash each pair every couple days and that's all he'll need. He also has some pajama pants and stuff. There's also a pair of black pants under there for my daughter. And then I got these two cute flannel shirts for my two youngest also because they're clothes for young children are so inexpensive and all of my kids needed new winter clothes this year we got more cheese sticks some of us really like the Colby Jack and some really prefer the mozzarella and my husband and I really like both here are more amazing meat deals. So I was planning to get a beef chuck roast, or they come in two packs at Sam's, uh, to do like either the Mississippi roast or just some sort of roast in the crock pot this month. And these were marked down so much compared to what they came up as on the app that two of them ended up being the same price as one package on the app. I like to fill my cart on my Sam's Club app kind of as if it were my grocery list. 
So I have a good estimate of what I'm spending and I can adjust accordingly. So a lot of the prices that I saw on the app were way over estimates of what I actually found in store. And this is a perfect example of that. So now I now have four chuck roasts and I'll probably, um, in both of these packages, one is significantly smaller than the other. So I'll probably make, you know, one whole package at a time when I do finally put them in the crock pot. That way we also have leftovers. These pork chops were another great example of it being significantly less in store than it was in the app. And these are really thick boneless pork chops. So I will probably um, slice them to be thinner. That way we'll get one full meal out of each package. But 737 for what will eventually be 12 pork chops is a really great price. I wanted to get a a good combination of fresh and frozen vegetables so I got some fresh broccoli florets and fresh Brussels sprouts and we will use those sometime over the next two weeks with our meals. We love roasted pecans especially this time of year so I got one package of pecan halves hopefully those will go on sale next month and I can stock the freezer with more. Romaine hearts Thankfully, this big package of lettuce is still under $5. I got two big bags of frozen broccoli. This was one of my favorite purchases for my husband. His very favorite steak is a ribeye. And these were marked, one was $6.29 off and $5.77 off. So I don't typically buy expensive steaks when I go grocery shopping but because he is carnivore right now or low carb for sure um, I just wanted to put a little more effort into his options for dinner. Two big bags of sh raw shrimp. Now this is already peeled and deveined so that makes preparation really er uh, easy. So that makes preparation really easy. I got two more packages of pork tenderloins. However, these come in a two pack and in each side there are two. So two, four, six, and eight. So I really have eight. And I typically make four at a time if I'm making it for the whole family. I also got this beef bottom round steak and I bought it because it was marked down. It's less than six dollars and I wasn't even sure what you use this cut for, but my son said that he can use it to make homemade beef jerky, which is actually really good. So I will probably let him do that. One big family package of chicken wings, two packages of chicken drumsticks. I don't really understand why chicken wings are two eighty eight a pound when there's so little meat on them. <laughs> And drumsticks or chicken legs are only 98 cents a pound, which is why I got two of those instead of two packages of chicken wings. All right, these avocado cups are always a great purchase. The sell by date or use by date is almost always like two months out and you never have to wait for them to be perfectly ripe. Each cup equals half of an avocado. And so it just really is nice and convenient when we want to put it on a breakfast burrito or a sandwich or even use it as a dip. Four rotisserie chickens. I will probably take the meat off of these and freeze them in four separate gallon bags. That will be really easy to make chicken salad or use it to make chicken Caesar salad, casseroles, anything. These unfortunately were not on sale. Actually, that's not true. The um, skinless salmon fillets were $5 off but that was still pretty pricey. So we got this one big salmon filet and then these cod filets, which this is the whitest fish I've ever seen. My son was commenting on that too. Oops, I forgot one more thing from Walmart and that is um, three packages of sausage links. I actually got those for brunch yesterday and they were a huge hit. Um, the kids ate them before my husband even got one. <laughs> so I decided to pick up some more when I was at Walmart. My total at Sam's Club was $587.08. That is a lot. 
but 90% of what I purchased was meat, so it wasn't really all that bad. And I am really excited about all the options we have for dinner this month. And lastly, we have Aldi. I only spent $75.51 at Aldi, although looking at this pile, I don't know how on earth that's how much I spent. Six bags of spicy pork rinds because low carb. And these are the best spicy pork rinds that we've ever found. And they're also the cheapest. It, these are only a dollar and nine cents a bag. I got six packages of cream cheese. These um, spicy jalapeno smoked sausages, basically like beef jerky. It is hard to find beef jerky that does not have sugar in it. So the fact that these were zero sugar, they don't have any seed oils or anything in it. Um, I'm excited for my husband to try these and see if he likes them. Now this bag was almost $10, so I guess that's a huge contribution toward the 75. Two jars of salsa. This is the first salsa I've purchased in probably two years, but we are running low on our home canned salsa, which was so delicious. So I decided to go ahead and put two more of these on the shelf in the pantry. Two bags of mini chocolate chips. I am going to make some um, protein snack balls for my kids later this week, and I think I will throw a handful of mini chocolate chips in there. Four cans of black olives, because my kids like to eat them as a snack. I don't remember how many of these low carb tortillas that I got, but this is the, Aldi has the best price on low carb tortillas, and their white ones are, they're really good. Two big bags of pistachios. I bought this 25 ounce bottle of organic, wait, is it organic? It just says non-GMO. Anyways, grapeseed oil. I'm going to use it to make homemade mayonnaise. I have not tried grapeseed oil yet, but I've heard that it has like the least amount of flavor to add to your, your um, homemade mayonnaise. So we'll see how that turns out. I will let you know. And I'll probably do a video on my homemade mayonnaise because I just recently discovered a much, much easier method than what I had been doing for the last couple of months. And last but not least, and I'm very excited about these two things, the crunchy tostada shells and then these really large um, burrito size tortillas. I am going to introduce my kids to crunch wraps. They are so delicious. I... I'm almost ashamed to admit it because Taco Bell has such a bad rap, but their black bean tostadas are so, or not tostadas, sorry, black bean crunch wrap supreme is so good. They just make like refried beans out of black beans and that's on one side with cheese and lettuce and tomato, but I will make my kids with um, taco meat. So my total at Aldi, as I said, was $75.51. That brought my grand total to $835.92. Also, this is the fourth time I've had to record this total because I keep forgetting what it is. <laughs> now it's time to put all of this away. Thanks for watching.